When I first started working at Kopila Valley, I noticed there were two sisters who were always late. Every morning, they showed up after the school gates had closed. I called them into my office and asked them why they were so tardy. I thought I was going to have to give them a lecture about responsibility. But then, they told me about their lives. Every morning, they woke up at 5 a.m. to work. They each walk one kilometer in opposite direction away from their house to distribute newspapers. Then they would meet back in the middle of our breakfast before coming to school. I asked about their guardians. They told me their mother was sick and too weak to work. She didn't have long to live. Their father was sick too. When I heard this, I felt like crying. Most of our students are under a lot of pressure. Some of them also have jobs breaking stones, building houses, doing whatever they are capable of. There are very few who have got family members to do this work for them. It can be hard to find time to study. We know what they are up against. So we put in every effort to ensure our students stay in school. We invest as much as we can in them. We make home visits, we speak to their guardians, we help with family problems, we even give out food. We know that our work doesn't stop when a child is enrolled in school. And that's why we ask for your help supporting initiatives that will help them reach graduation. We want to live in a world where child labor is a thing of the past. Join us.